You're listening to Winnipeg's Classic 107. My name is Simon Rosnack. Sip, savor, and sample local this weekend at Love Local Manitoba. Vendors from across the province gathering at the Victoria Inn this Saturday. And to tell us more about it, I'm joined by co-founder and host Peter Fair. Welcome back to Classic 107, Peter. Thanks, Simon. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, well, great to have you here. Um, I, I didn't have a chance to have a big breakfast this morning, and I think I'm going <laughs> to regret that because this feels like one of those interviews I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel a little hungry <laughs> after right. this is done. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> uh, so let's get chatting about this event. Started back in 2014. Mm-hmm. The idea born at a, a farmer's market, is that right? That's true. Yeah, I was selling my own uh, brand of, uh, of gourmet food products at a farmer's market, and I was just chatting with my neighbor vendor and we we're like, what, what can we do with all these amazing vendors that are here? Like we should do something fun. And we both, both of us loved just getting people together and having some live music and food. And we're like, well, why don't we take these vendors out of right here and make an, a fun event out of it? And so it happened pretty organically at a farmer's market on Saturday morning. And, and that was uh, nine years ago and the rest is history, I guess. So The, the, the rest is history. Um, I, I'm curious, you know, thinking back as you kind of continue to produce these events, mm. why are events such as these ones important in the community? I think they're more important uh, now than ever. Uh, yeah, I find like a lot of the, the vendors that we that are at our event, they're small businesses. And so literally the support that they get from our community feeds their families. And so, so I think that's vital. And and I'm just uh, grateful that, that I was able to start Love Local to kind of be, uh, have a platform for these local businesses to, to showcase their, their products and, uh, and have Manitobans discover them. Uh, a good opportunity for, like you say, uh, Manitobans to discover these businesses, but also a, a good opportunity, I would imagine, for businesses to network amongst each other, right? Is, is that the case? Totally. I feel like we're, a lot of us are, yeah, small businesses and uh, often we're kind of one man shows. We don't have a lot of employees. And so I feel like we're kind of become a bit of a support group for, mm-hmm. for each other. And, and it's just fun to, to visit and share each other's opportunities and challenges and just, uh, yeah, it's good good networking for the vendors as well. Yeah, for sure. So how many vendors are you expecting this year? At the There's event? about 40 again. Wow. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they range everything from uh, different beverages to foods. And we have some wine and uh, crispy crickets that are grown in Miami, Manitoba. They're back again. <laughs> They're back again. <laughs> I still haven't sampled them. We were talking about this last oh, year. And right. I, I still haven't sampled them, unfortunately. And but yeah, cho- they're back there's again. chocolate covered ones this year as well. Ah, so. Okay, so we're going like full like sweet, sweet. savory. Oh, right. And then also protein options there yeah, as well. That's right. There's a protein. They make them to have protein powder as well so yeah is there anything that you're particularly um like i'm wondering it's going to be a busy weekend for you right of course saturday you're going to be hosting and and mm-hmm. and you, you'll uh, imagine also have a, a spot for yourself are you going to have the opportunity to sample anything from anybody yes i usually take some moments to go around <laughs> and uh, do some sampling for sure yeah so yeah. it's always a delicious time <laughs> I, I thought that might be the case yeah. uh, so tickets are uh, forty dollars um right. I, I, i'm curious what else is included in, in, in that yes. cost? So people always ask like, what's all included and you, it's unlimited sampling. So I always say have a light supper and then uh, just come and eat. And so there's so much sampling to happen that you don't often even get to try everything because it's just you'll be full. And there's a mixologist on site as well that'll be offering a custom uh, mocktail that's complimentary with your ticket as well. And so you get a mocktail, there's live music. We got a violinist and a, an accordion player that can serenade you all evening. And yeah, it's just a, a classy, fun kind of evening out with your friends. You can celebrate your birthday, come with coworkers. Yeah, it's fun. It's so. just a good night out on the yeah. town. Um, or really kind of the, the whole province coming together for you in one location, right? True. That idea, that opportunity to sample a whole bunch of different vendors and what they offer, plus hear some music and yeah. and have a mocktail. Uh, sure. I mean, it just sounds like it's going to be a, a wonderful, wonderful evening. I, I'm curious, is it, a, I mean, the event begins at, at, at five, right. runs till nine. Is it a good idea to get there right when doors open or is it sort of a drop in more stuff? It's kind of come and go, but I find most guests come uh, 5.30, the line's kind of start. And then most guests actually end up staying because they have so much fun. They just end up staying for the whole evening. And so, so yeah, it's good to come, I'd say, close to the beginning and just enjoy your, enjoy your evening. But it is come and go. So you can come whenever you want. And uh, like you say, it's unlimited sampling. Uh, sure. So <laughs> the earlier yeah. you get there, the, the more time you have to really work your way around the room and, and see what everybody has on offer. Yeah, exactly. For sure. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, uh, this, the, the ninth iteration, and there's lots to get through. But any special plans looking ahead to next year? Because it's it's going to be a 10th anniversary. Yeah, it's going to be a 10th anniversary of Love, next year. Uh, no exact plans yet, but we're definitely dreaming up some fun, some fun things for next year. So we'll have to just keep you posted on that. So nothing concrete yet, but we'll, we're dreaming up some things. So well, before all of that, um, the event happens this weekend again, five to nine, March sixteenth, Saturday at the Victoria Inn. That's over on Wellington Avenue, right near the the airport. Mm-hmm. Um, Peter, uh, I want to thank you so much for joining me this morning. You've also provided some tickets uh, to yes, give away. So if anyone nice. would like to be there, a chance to sip. Sample and savor local. You can give us a call on the classic line 204 336 1071. Thanks for joining me. Thanks, Simon. Have a good day.